Oh. Seem to be. <laughs> oh, mamas. Uh, no. Nah. Yeah. I, 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 I try to be a loving not a fighter, but you know I had to knock that one little comedian out. So oh. you got in a fight with a comedian? Oh, oh, oh I yeah, never knew yeah. that. <laughs> off, off <laughs> camera, <laughs> niggas got it. Oh, I never knew that. Run, run the story, bro. But that makes to... me like you even more. I'm not gonna kiss you. I try not to be. I almost chipped a few of these in my damn self. I love everybody. I mean, hey, but it be like that. For real, be like that. You really did it too, cause you don't want to talk about it. Oh, I don't care, but it's funny because everybody was like, Keisha, Keisha, yeah. The next day when the shit, Keisha, eat, like, what? Like, that's how you know the bitch was goofy, because I don't, I just be chill. You know? I don't think you were square, though. I wouldn't fuck with you if you were square. <laughs> but I think with females, you know what it is, a lot of them pop off, but those are the ones that's all barking no bite. So because I think I'm chilling they back, dudes might not, dudes might people, but I think a lot of females be like, oh, I could try her. Like, I'm solo dolo, I'm always by myself, I'm chill. I don't be talking shit. I don't, you know, like, yeah. oh, I could probably, she got a master's degree, two parents, don't. Yeah. Bitch, I'm from Detroit. Don't yeah. me. People got that yeah. two parents shit. Like, I'm, I'm from Detroit. I got, I got, I got two whoop. parents that will whoop your ass as well. <laughs> I got two parents that train me to whoop your ass. <laughs> on God. With me. On me. Because, yeah. nigga, if you ain't fucked them up, they was going to fuck you up. So it's <laughs> like. Man, don't play with me. I love for everybody. <laughs> on anything. But why do it be like that, though? It be like the most solid individuals that don't fuck with nobody be targeted the most by the weirdos to make you want to fight a motherfucker or to be like, all right, now I got to put you on your ass because you're doing too much. I think people just be mad at things that they don't have that they want. So, that like, part. for instance, if you that if you part. by yourself, yeah. part. people don't got the nuts to even just rock by themselves. Mm -hmm. So I mean. it's like they might look at it like, Envious or they gonna act hard Cause they with their friends And they yeah. think you might not be On the same shit you stand on Cause you by yourself Yeah And it's like alright Don't get your ass With the front of your friends <laughs> Exactly man That's why You I love like, friends Yeah it's like yeah Can't fuck with these And then for a female bet being nice looking That shit probably um, Cause women be trying to hit Women that don't look rough On me <laughs> On me They be probably <laughs> Fuck your karma ass skin, bitch. <laughs> 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 Trying to rough you up and shit. On me. Oh, smooth ass skin. <laughs> That's why I used to, used to smooth, talk. Smooth skin and get you in a fight for oh, sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, why I can't help I got good jeans there. Yeah. That's why they always just talk shit about the girls with the good hair and shit. Like, uh, yeah, oh, you yeah know, good hair get you win. in some fights too, for sure. Mm -hmm. That's hella funny. You know me. Yeah, nah, it's, it's tragic. <laughs> <laughs> you think people, uh, uh, you think Ashanti been in a few fights? She be looking good as hell. She, mm. I think she, she, she probably been a bitch I think before. maybe. I think once, maybe once or twice. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, yeah. nigga, you know who do get in? Who? Monica. She fought uh, on, Monica is hooded. She fought yeah, on Monica. Brandy before a, um, yeah, Monica before the, a performance. Before Monica a choke Ashanti. Monica is good. <laughs> right. <laughs> She'll be like, Ashanti, yeah. She is hooded. <laughs> you got to watch them lanky yeah. girls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> them thin ones, they be trying to fight. <laughs> Monica, she fucking around on oh, mamas. Uh, yeah, uh, Nelly and uh, Ashanti, they back together. Y'all seen yeah. that? Yeah. I haven't. That was holding hands. I, I did. Wait, have we started? We fucking I had around. no idea. <laughs> I was we like, is this? Okay, okay. I just be trying to start I had no it just idea. to see you know, everybody out there. I be so out of the loop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I be so out of the loop of everything that's going mm -hmm. on. Yeah. Yeah, I don't even be wanting to know. For real? No. Don't tell me you trying to act like you don't know what's going on so you can knock Nelly. I, yeah. No! <laughs> she gonna see Nelly. No. Oh, I didn't even know you was there, Miss I was focused on my nigga. Like, Shanti, do your thing, sis. Okay? <laughs> I'm over here in my prayers for my king. Like, yeah. No, but I mean, I never knew why they broke up, so I can't. I don't, I don't know what yeah. the situation was, but you know how I just feel it's like I good. always gotta speak on Shanti because that's the only woman in the United States that ever froze me. What you mean? Froze me, meaning part. that I didn't get to pop, I didn't pop my pee on her. Yeah. I had a, I had a, I was standing next to Ashanti <laughs> <laughs> at this movie premiere, and we was charging our phone for like uh -huh. ten minutes, and That's I'm, li I'm literally like shoulder to shoulder, like that close type shit, mm -hmm. and I'm trying to figure out what to say because she looks so. Oh, you froze I like froze. you ain't say. Oh, <laughs> you know I pop my pee. Not do too much. Oh, you know I pop my pee. <laughs> Everything I see, you understand me? Wow. Man, she oh, had me. Nothing to say. I was speechless. Wow. Oh, God, my boy. I, I, that bothers me to this day because I felt like she got me out of my character. Yeah. Wow. It could have been you, not Nelly. That could have been me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I froze. Mm -hmm. So, um, 
Dang. Yeah, players players fuck so, up. Players uh, fuck up too. Players fuck players up. Fuck but up I didn't know. I, I really had nothing to say. And I was just char- <laughs> looking like a fucking nerd. I'm on the <laughs> phone. I should have been like, I should have just like, put put your shit in my shit. You know what I mean? like, <laughs> put your, put your, put your shit, shit in my, my shit. It's <laughs> never <laughs> a good pickup hey. line. That shit would have worked because she ain't never had a oh nigga come God. at her like that. Everybody <laughs> probably come so respectful. <laughs> I should have <laughs> just been like, man, check it out. Look up to see what's up, baby. What's happening? Fellas, y'all just got to be, y'all just got to be straightforward. You would have knocked her. You what's him. a good way to, What's a good way for a man to approach a woman? For me, it's always just direct. It's always direct. Don't ask for my Instagram because then I, you want to do skits, my nigga. <laughs> you a fan? <laughs> we two, we are two grown people, and you are in my face. <laughs> and you gonna ask for my skit. Instagram? Oh, nigga, what you want to do content with me? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna assume. Be direct, state your interest, and just be straight up. Like all the, don't come with no lines, no gimmicks, no games. Just be yeah. like, hey, my name so is such and such. So you don't want to pop his P. I don't even know what that means. Pop That's his what P I'm saying. Mean, you so know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know. <laughs> no, I want you to just state your claim. Be direct. Hey, how you doing? I'm such and such. Mm. I saw you over here. I think you're a beautiful girl. I like to get to know you. Simple. Can I, can I get your number? Can I take you it's out? Cap. It's simple. It's cat. Why is cat? How is that cat? If a nigga walk up to a girl like that now, they're like, nigga, you corny. You so goofy see, ass on you my face. See, like, <laughs> or is that just L.A. girls? I don't know who you're dealing with. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> but I feel both of y'all. Because like, I think it's an I age think thing. The younger, I'm about to say, I think the young girls probably say that. Yeah, definitely. Because like, somebody also was like, oh, you can't approach women at certain places. Now. And I was like, nigga, I could be in, in chemotherapy. If, if you... Respectfully, you mm-hmm. know what I mean. How you doing? You feeling all right today? That, <laughs> all right. And then shoot your shot. Like that's your ass could be, that's real, your ass could be on a little deathbed. Yeah. I'll be, hey, hold on, girl. <laughs> yeah. Don't leave so soon. You, you can't be my name is like, 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 Yeah, because yeah. you don't know if you gonna ever see this person again. Who gonna be like, I'm in the gym. Don't talk to me. No, as long as you come at me respectfully, as long as you don't come stand behind me while I'm squatting on some creep stuff. You know what I yeah. mean? You can yeah. you can shoot your shot anywhere. Yeah, but, I ain't gonna but lie. young girls might be like, "Oh, that's corny," or you know, that, listen, I don't know nothing yeah. about that life. I say that every time I come on here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know nothing about that life. <laughs> it is hard to it's hard to knock some at the gym though, for sure. Because women oh, yeah. be focused, they be up there. Yeah, they're not fucking. And yeah. then I just be or like, I mean, oh, but okay. but I think it's just how you do it, time and place. So like, maybe wait till she finished working out. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And she wrapping it up, or maybe if you about to leave, I ain't saying stay for another hour, but. And she gonna take a break If she ain't taking a break oh, mama, Then son. I don't know Sorry, She on go. something But she gonna take some, a break At some point in time And you could just respect and, But that's when you gotta get to it Don't be I'm in the gym Yeah. Don't be here playing get games to the my time. Get to it yeah. Hey you know what I see you in your workout I ain't trying to interrupt I think you're a really beautiful girl I would love to You know well, Is it disrespectful phone. for a man To be like I ain't gonna lie I see you doing your squats That <laughs> ass was looking good girl I just want your information Oh my god And it just made it better <laughs> That you beautiful in the face <laughs> For me, that yes. Work? For some other girl, they might they See, might take I'm that gonna try that shit. Cause I be might. thinking about. <laughs> <laughs> I'll might. be like, I want to just be the real. Like, you got you know? a fat ass doing them squats, girl, <laughs> and you look good. What's happening? But I mean, I think honestly, it's always the best policy. She might be that. She might be like, yeah. Oh, mamas, huh? Because I be I I be getting that shit a certain way in certain environments. <laughs> it's like yeah. if you catch if I if you catch me at the grocery store, I'm gonna be like respectful. I'm gonna be like. Hey, how you doing, you sweetheart? At, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but if I'm at the club, I'm gonna be like, I ain't gonna shake that shit. Oh. What's happening? You got hella ass. So this What's is happening? the problem here. This is how we're approaching, lady. Shake that shit. Are you, you already shaking that motherfucker because oh, you in here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't stop because I got came in this motherfucker. Are you in the strip club? Who are we talking to? We here talking about club. liquor, music, you and know what I'm nightlife. Lou, Lou. Yeah. That's not how you're approaching, ladies, Lou. I'm not saying I do that. <laughs> I do, I do, I do, I do. You saying it's the setting, like the setting is what set what you say. Exactly. Basically. Oh, right, right, right. If you, if okay. I'm at Starbucks, I'm, I'm respectful. Yeah. Good morning, sweetheart. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. Good to see you here. What drink you finna get? I'm finna <laughs> get the, I'm Grand finna get the purple drink. Queen. They go from that to shake that shit. What? Yeah. I can meet that same hey, woman at nighttime and be like, man, what you doing? Nigga, what you doing trust, after this? I don't trust nobody to say Grand Rising, my nigga. <laughs> I don't trust no nigga to say Grand Rising. He finna ask for some money. That nigga, <laughs> <laughs> that nigga a scammer. Like that nigga, he finna do some weird shit, bro. Like. <laughs> 
I don't trust no nigga. That, oh, Grand Rising. Nigga. Grand Rising. What nigga say good morning? Oh, happy solar return. Nigga, it's my birthday. <laughs> nigga, like, just say some regular shit. The yeah. Neo niggas, I, I, yeah. Neo. I can't do it. No, that's that's facts. Hey, what's happening? It's the Kelly Kickback. <laughs> you understand me? Yeah, man. It's your boy, Louis <laughs> Bell. You understand me? Uh, we, we got a uh, special guest in the building. You understand me? All the way from Detroit. <laughs> Uh, my lady friend, you know, playing <laughs> shit, man. Phenomenal comedian, you know. Thank of you. course, I'm a fan, you know. I'm Thank glad you. you came through. Keisha E in the building, man. Thank Keisha you. E, Keisha What's E. What's up, guys? Hell yeah. And you know, I got my player potty. You know, we we've been connected, well respected this since yes, uh, it's sir. almost been a decade or something. Out this Come motherfucker, on. we young OGs around this thing. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, what's on me, Quan in the building? What's up? What's up? Man? How you what's feeling? Up? Hey, nigga, I'm good, man. I'm just uh. Nigga, high on life, bro. Just enjoying this conversation. Yeah, and being yeah we to... over here getting some game from Keisha E. How <laughs> yeah. we supposed to approach these ladies in certain yeah. environments? Yeah, yeah. we're going to have to tighten y'all up now. Nah, but like... Really? Like... Yes. Okay. Shake that. Shake that shit. That ass is fat. <laughs> Who? What? <laughs> hey, but I you like... just said, if a, if a dude say something at the gym like that... To me, I mean, to me, no. Now, I don't know. Some young ladies... I mean, I guess they post them with their ass out, so I guess they want you to com yeah, to comment. Like, but yeah. I just <laughs> my nigga, little face. He like, I didn't put your ass out. out. That's shit was an aggressive out. approach, and I'm encouraging you to keep that thing go. <laughs> Let that thing thing. Because where do you go from there? Like, <laughs> what you gonna do after this? <laughs> what you gonna do? That's after how you know a nigga trying to hit that night. <gasps> what you gonna but do? But see, I think that this? depends too on what you're the reason you're approaching. If you're trying right. to fuck, or you're actually interested in like, oh, this is somebody I might want to take home to my mama. Mm. Or I'm interested in You know I'm dating intentionally Or I'm just out here yeah. I'm dating now I, I done officially started This is my first time Ever in my life yeah. dating Okay With a purpose I'm yeah, with a purpose. Okay. Shout yeah. out to I like to feel like I had something to do with this guy. You I had. Like my last conversation. Yep. I, I'm proud. The Cali kickback I, helped me right uh, heal. You know, you hey. been uh, like giving me game. Mm. You know, um, I've been dating. Uh, I, I'm horrible, though. I ain't going to lie. I'm so green. Okay. Okay, it's a work in do. progress. So mm. I'm good. I'm I'm been good at getting the numbers and shit. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been doing that. But now it's like, all right, now when I get the number, how do I stay respectful? Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, man, oh, how you going to be going on three dates with one person? <laughs> what? Uh, yeah. Am I tripping? You say you're not going to go on three dates with one person, with the same it's, person? Like, for instance, right? Like, if you get a number, right? Mm -hmm. It's like, all right, boom. You know, we can go. We can link one time. Mm -hmm. You know, normal shit food mm -hmm. get some food or whatever but it's like after that i don't know what we finna keep doing we ain't finna just keep going to the restaurant <laughs> Wait, what you mean? i don't know what we finna keep doing that's dating what you talking about Come on, am i tripping no, nah nah I, I don't think you tripping that's that's every nigga mindset whether they say it or they don't like you know what i'm saying they like i ain't finna but like me i'm more of a lover boy type nigga so what? I'm gonna I'm keep going on the dates. Like I'm, uh -huh. I'm one of them. So it's different for me. So but what I, you... I still got the, the thought. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. I'm a dude, nigga. Like so, it be like that. But like, nigga, you not wrong because every nigga gonna stand up like, what's wrong with that? Yeah. So I what? Mean, are, so what are you saying? Y'all go on a date one time, and after that, you don't want to take her out no more, but you still want to talk to her. That's what I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, all right, what are we gonna do? Because we're gonna keep going hella dates and shit. Oh, yeah. Man, that shit boring. Man. It's like, I'm trying to. dating boring. Let's speed this shit up. Let's go watch something in the house. I'm trying to, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to rub some ass and watch. I'm binge watching Snowfall and shit. I'm trying to do that. Oh, my God. I really don't wanna do this shit. I wanna lock something in. <laughs> but. <laughs> After hey. one day, so you wanna, so you wanna get into a relationship? Nah, I just wanna do what I wanna do. <laughs> I wanna <laughs> watch the game. Come on, fuck do. with me. <laughs> you feel oh me? Lord Jesus! Yeah. But but I mean, that ain't none of the ones niggas gonna take home their mama. I mean, unless niggas still stay there and like mm -hmm. you ain't got no choice because you gotta like, hey, mom, I got company type. <laughs> but other than that, like, if if I'm trying to knock, if I'm trying to knock you down, I'm gonna take you to see my mama because ain't mm -hmm. no respect there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. You should. I'm not. You. Sh I shouldn't. You have. You shouldn't have to be meet my mama for me to get some pussy. I me. Mean, that ain't the rule. Well, no. That's what I'm saying. It depends on what are you looking for. Somebody <laughs> yeah. that you want to seriously date, that's or somebody said, that you just main, trying to smash. I'm trying to date right now. <laughs> Lou don't know. Lou don't <laughs> even know what that means. I'm trying to date, but after one date, that's yeah. it. You know what I, I noticed too? Like 
actually trying to date but still like be me mm -hmm. it's like uh i be feeling like big deal like it small things is big deal to people like for instance like say if you meet a guy right mm -hmm. he saucy you like him and all the shit mm -hmm. and y'all go out to eat whatever one time y'all been y'all hung out like three times now right mm -hmm. he asks you to take you to the airport like he mm -hmm. asks i ask a female to take her to the like take me to take the airport, to the airport. Uh -huh. yeah that's like a big deal i've been losing women because i'm like bitch you can't take me to the airport this shit over with <laughs> <laughs> i mean lax runs is it's different not any place else but i don't so they don't want to take you to the airport and then you like all right i'm done i'm done it's over but y'all went out on a few times and y'all been kicking it yeah. i would i would take a dude to the airport see i'll take a dude to the airport it's just yeah so i know i ain't tripping god damn it me yeah, yeah i mean <laughs> but they might know that you ain't trying to take them out no more they probably get the vibe but like Lou, we done after this <laughs> maybe that's why and see shit be ending right before i get to liking you yeah. like right when i'm finna like if you take me to the airport now this shit going to a whole nother level <laughs> now we working towards something <laughs> See, see, like, soon by the time some real shit. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, it's like, oh, we ain't locked in like that. But would you yeah. take her to the airport? Hell yeah, I'll be oh. proud to take you to the airport. I mean, you got something going on for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> she might be going to Miami with 16 of her friends to sleep in one room. I'm not taking to the airport <laughs> for that. <laughs> yeah, nah. Uh, I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't see nothing wrong with that. Mm. See, that's I the bet. fucking problem. You going, to, you going to Miami, 16 to a bed, and then you're like, <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, you got some, some figuring out to do. Like, why ain't y'all putting money on, on another? If none of y'all got money to have, like, at least two bed suite with a couch. You know why it don't matter house. for girls? Because niggas going to hit anyways. Well, I'm, yeah. I mean, nigga, nigga walk into a hotel yeah. room with tw 12 women sleeping in the yeah. room and he be like, shit, if your yeah. friends ain't tripping, I ain't tripping. Oh, <laughs> oh my nigga God. Nigga whip out for there. Slack <laughs> for everybody. <laughs> We gonna be. He actually yeah. gonna get excited. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, it's man. bitches in this room. Nigga, you tell all your niggas. Oh, we found the right group of women. <laughs> it's that twelve is, of them in one that, room. That shit's stupid. Yeah, like yeah. niggas don't have standards like that. Girls, they be. I mean, you gotta be picky, but like low key with certain shit. But it's it's different. They gonna be more pickier than niggas. Like niggas just ain't gonna care. Like all right, for sure, for sure. How you feel about having a one night stand, Keisha? It's not for me. You ever have one? I'm not about that life. Mm -mm. Damn. You think a female hoe, she have a one night stand? I won't necessarily say she's a hoe. Um I won't call I won't say she's a mm. Be honest. I'm thinking, now I'm thinking, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking yeah. like the definition so, of yeah, like what well, I would consider a hoe. Yeah, um, now your ass uh, uh, on on the spot. <laughs> I that's a tough one. I mean Eh, what I call her a hoe? I might. I, might <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I just. I don't know if I'd call her a hoe, but I. For for me, and this ain't no judgment because you know people in the comments be mad. I don't understand the, the process of being like, oh, I just met this dude in the club. I'm about to fuck him. Like he ain't my man. We ain't kicking it. We don't have no bond. I don't know nothing about him. We just. I'm just. I don't understand that thought process. But. Mm -hmm. I mean. So how's dating for you? Cause since you judging my dating life, I'm not judging it. Lou, we are working through your dating life. It's about you now, Keisha. <laughs> I mean, I'm a black woman in LA, so you already know what that's about. What? What? What that mean? Yeah. That mean I'm from the back. Yeah. This shit up and go. That's where I'm at in my dating life. What? Pack it up and go. Yeah. What that mean? Yeah, I'm about to get out of LA. Really? Um, Why? Because I'm a black woman in LA. A heterosexual so, black woman so that saying. like black men. So what you saying? They a lot of these men are zesty. Yeah, niggas ain't shit. Oh, it's just very zesty out here. Absolutely. Um, you don't think that's all around the world right now? I think it's heavier here, and I also think that because LA is so diverse. That's I was having this conversation crazy. the other day that mm -hmm. you go somewhere. I might go to a restaurant. I don't, I might only see six or seven black dudes in the whole restaurant. Versus if you in like Detroit, yeah. Texas, Atlanta, the whole place is filled with black men. So uh, your yeah. your chances of getting hollered at is greater someplace else then i feel like don't LA. don't let me find out you walking around and niggas oh, ain't popping their peas oh i don't really get hollered at out here what oh no I, I just had a Maybe. show in texas my nigga when i say i was overwhelmed like wait a minute hold up hold up like <laughs> because i don't get hollered at out here oh but as soon as i stepped off the plane oh yeah no nah, i mean it's, it's just like yeah 
it's it's probably it's a piece of what she's saying. Those people you call the month Zesty. Yeah. Uh huh. It's them. It's niggas that think like, oh damn, she might be too too stuck up for a nigga to talk to him. I get hollered at by homeless scared. dudes. Con- the most confident homeless, nigga homeless they niggas don't got nothing that to lose don't stand a chance. <laughs> homeless and like borderline like niggas that don't stand a chance like not to be mean but like oh they confidently holler at me but it'll be dudes that like and, and I don't know if that's the thing of like it was just a dude the second ago I had an interaction with and it was like are you going to ask me for my number or alright mm. you know what I mean? Because niggas be trying to see how far they can take it. Cause like if a nigga like okay, I got a homie, bro. Like bro, like no, he ugly as fuck. But the nigga got confidence though, and I done seen him knock some of the baddest that the homie that he must got money. Ain't yeah, no ugly nigga should ever have confidence if he ain't got no money. The 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 homie is down. The homie the homie is stylish, but like bro, like he know how to pop his shit. So okay, yeah. I done seen him crack some. He mm. I seen him crack um a girl one time uh Katie Albert. A girl from um, Friday at the Next, Money Mike. Uh, is that public? Oh. Is that public? You just told on this nigga. This is years ago. I mean, but this like, was in like '85. He I'm didn't saying. Cracked, and I'm like, mm-hmm. nigga, like nigga, we all caught the bus of this motherfucker, like, and he knocked her. So it's I don't know. Mmm. Wow, I did not know that was a thing <laughs> in L.A. that black women don't get knocked. I mean, it's it's a. It's Where a, was you at? It's I be all over, honestly. So you yeah, saying like when I don't? Because he's from L.A. He's from like, the real I, L.A. From like the real part of L.A. If you was in L.A., oh niggas don't get at you. <laughs> See, I go <laughs> like I go to Inglewood. I don't. I'm not like deep <laughs> off in the hood. Like I'm not in like why? Yeah, she's talking about Hollywood. But yeah. no, I go to like Inglewood. I go to like West L.A. I think that well, is. Something to Inglewood or... niggas ain't talking to her, bro. Cause like anywhere, bro. Like the spots that we didn't been. Mm-hmm. Nigga, oh for sure, bro. As soon as she get out the car, nigga. This is when I get hollered at. I get hollered at. I mean, go to uh, level up other store. Races. <laughs> <laughs> go to level up store. Level oh, yeah. up store. Yeah. Older dudes, like I go to GS and be a nigga in there about sixty two. What the fuck are you doing at the GS? <laughs> GS used to be going crazy. I, yeah, but first like, of all, like, they tacos all, is bomb. Niggas, number one. Oh, oh god, them tacos. Oh, so, Tuesday. No, yes, yes. The turkey tacos go. Yeah, they. they but no, I get approached by um dudes of other races. I get approached by gay dudes. Really? Um, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> what, I the don't what they want? What they want? I don't know. That's when I first got out here. I was like, let me start waxing my little mustache. Like maybe that's what it is. Wow. I don't know. I had one dude <laughs> waxing my little. I was like, I gotta stand an appointment every two weeks now. One dude changed his mind in the middle of trying to holler at me, and I didn't even know how to feel at that point. I was like, I don't know if this is a compliment, a diss, yeah. or what. Like. Mm-hmm. He told me I was almost cute enough to make him. He stopped me uh-huh. and was like, damn, like, what's your name? And I was confused, like... That nigga thought... He, he thought about his baby Keisha? mama. That's, she crazy. That's probably it, what he No, did. he was He like, probably no, found he out your gay. name. Oh, your name Keisha? Oh, oh no. No, he was Hell really, no. like... <laughs> he oh, he, he, he was really, like... <laughs> What's your name? You know what I mean? So I was confused. Was so like, yes. Like, why is he stopping me? And mm. then I was like, and he looked me up and down and he was like, damn. He was like, you was almost cute enough to make me go straight, but not quite. And I was like, oh, yes. fuck. Hey, I don't know how to take that. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah, that's, that's I had another out, dude bro. stop me and ask me who do my hair, right? And I was mm. like, really, you know, mm. feminine, gay mm. guy, whatever. Mm. And so I'm telling him and then he kept talking and then he was like, you got a man? And I was like, huh? Yeah. He was like, I know, I know what you're probably thinking, and I'm like, that's crazy. Yeah. Damn. So what you? Yeah, that. Um, or dudes of other races, Asian dudes, white dudes. Yeah. That's crazy. I don't know what's going on. That's yeah. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> I remember uh, you put on your story. Uh, you was uh, you put like a little vote, like yeah, a, a other race say the word nigga. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and me growing up in California. Um, like especially like in the Bay Area, we got a lot of Asians and Mexicans and mm-hmm. shit, and it's like we be letting them Asians and and Mexicans say nigga because they act like us, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like like Asians, like the Filipinos and shit. Yeah. Them niggas is like official, like hundred percent niggas. Mm-hmm. Like we don't look oh, at them like yes. like See, I don't play that. They talk like us, walk yeah. like us. Nigga got straps, slap nigga like nigga. They really yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't play that. Yeah. So I, Detroit, I damn near be like, like, if your mama and daddy ain't black, you can't say it. I got a homegirl, she mm-hmm. black and Mexican. I be like, hey. Hey, you can't say that shit. What? <laughs> I be like, we don't play. Um, we don't play that. So what was the vote? We don't play that. Everybody voted like nah. Everybody was like that. No, absolutely not. 
And it was maybe like four. It was like ninety six percent and four percent. You think that's yeah. a West Coast thing? Yeah, it's like, it's kind of like both. Like it's, I think it, maybe it's, also it's a younger some, generation. It's some people that I, I've seen the homies like don't trip with them saying nigga, and mm-hmm. some people that trip on like I trip on niggas around me that say nigga that's not black. I don't mm-hmm. like that shit. Just for the simple fact that like some derogatory shit towards you, mm-hmm. nigga, I can't say it for sure. Like, so I don't think it should be like a thing where you let a nigga say it in the sense. Of like, I just nah, think I white people yeah, shouldn't bro. say it. <clears throat> I, I, I don't, and then I kind of I kind of get in my feelings about black people that's not niggas that say nigga. <laughs> I know what you're you talking about. You not, not, no, no, no. Look my mama. Don't let me nah, get to talking nah, about hey, niggas hey, saying hey, nigga. Hey, bro. What you mean? Like a black person? It, that, nah, it, it's it's di- corny it's, ass black people yeah, out here yeah. that's not even niggas. Okay, I'm gonna and they get this. the way they get the. I'm gonna say this. They it's get like, away with saying nigga because they black. Like, you're not a nigga. Yeah, you're just black. Basically, it's like in Hollywood, nigga. We deal with a lot of like either skit niggas or comedian niggas that are black but they're not black like they it's the way these niggas act the way these niggas talk the way these niggas like carry themselves that yes. they're not that they're not black it's like I don't know how to explain I gotta show you it's like they're okay. African American yeah but they're they, not niggas but they're not like us like, <laughs> like, like they treat us funny when they see us or like mm-hmm. be on weird shit like nigga don't you be saying nigga bro like, I don't know. I guess for me, it's just I, I can't say names. That's the hard part. I'm ready to say a yeah. name. I ain't gonna but lie. Fuck these niggas. <laughs> Cause these niggas ain't niggas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is nigga. Oh, no, not gosh. those niggas. These. Yeah, but nah, it's it's it's, it's motherfuckers just like that. I, I just don't fuck with it. I don't I don't like it. Like I don't. Yeah, think I don't play it. The niggas. What you think it, about I'll black people? That's not black though. I don't, I don't trip about that. I think as long as you black, for me, it's like I don't I don't find a fence in it or I don't it doesn't come off as racist or derogatory or whatever this dude was like I don't even fucking know what he was maybe he was Armenian maybe he was oh yeah I don't know what he was mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. Cool it. yeah no we're not doing that yeah. and you know you you was in the wrong because when I checked you about it you huh what huh what because what because what he said like how did he say it so he was we were in the gym at my at my apartment mm-hmm. and it was just me and him in there I had been in there for like 20 30 minutes so you see me mm-hmm. he listening to music and I want to say it might have been like 50 cent or somebody right mm-hmm. but you ain't rap none of these words until it got to nigga oh wow so I looked and mm-hmm. dropped my weight I said what you just say and then he take his headphone off well, huh? what 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 I don't, what did I I said what did you just say yeah no I was just I was just rapping words but what did you say you mm-hmm. said nigga mm-hmm. no, oh it's just a song I was saying I don't care what it's saying in the song yeah don't say that shit you don't say nigga the first time you see and you see me standing right here like you see a black person right here yeah that's out of pocket so it was yeah. like what and then when he um he kind of like tried to shrug it off like i think when i left oh he said uh what did he say basically on some like okay kind of thing you know what i mean like mm-hmm. like i'm tripping yeah and he was like uh angry I black lady what he <laughs> that's that <laughs> not, not he, said, <laughs> he said so i can't remember whatever i can't remember what he said and i was like the better thing to do is for you to not say it mm-hmm. like don't ever say that again you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying like that's derogatory yeah. you see me standing right here mm-hmm. and he was on some like oh my gosh like i'm tripping and i was like yeah, nah, the fuck that's when i made the poll and then it was like 96 percent, maybe four percent because i called my homeboy he's like i think you really tripping da, 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 da. and i was like oh you let you let people say niggas I just don't fuck with it In front of you And I'm like nah Yeah cause if we going off that We would have to hit a lot of people No, Cause there's a lot of people saying nigga On me it is. I mean if you gonna say it in my presence I'm gonna always say something yeah. I feel I'm you I'm never though. gonna let that slide And not yeah. say I don't care old young big Whatever But as long as you African American African yeah, American you, you could be a sell out Coon ass <laughs> Corny ass black person <laughs> And you could just say nigga Cause of your skin tone I, Cause I mean <laughs> I got to be able to evaluate, is he cool? Is he corny? I mean, yeah, you can look at some people and say they're corny, some, but it's like... It's yeah. some entertainers that never use cuss words and then got some money and then start cussing yeah. and start saying nigga and all type of shit. I'm like, I never yeah. heard <clears throat> niggas say nigga. I don't know, I nigga. guess... I guess mm. Like, that's offensive to me. I've been a nigga the whole that's time. Yeah. Nigga, I'm a nigga when I'm broke. I'm a nigga when I'm rich. Yeah. I don't turn... Yeah, don't, you can't don't turn... And then turn it in. You can't have a... You can't <laughs> buy a chain and be like, what's up, nigga? Like yeah. nah, nigga, I'm saying nigga without no chain. Nigga, I'm I a guess, real nigga know, this whole time. Yeah. I guess it doesn't bother me if you black. See that shit, I can't that yeah. shit bothers me. Yeah. 
I, yeah, so it's all. I'd rather, <laughs> I'd rather, this shit might sound crazy, but I get it. I'll fuck around. I don't know. I don't know. I'll fuck around. I'd rather have Paul Wall say <laughs> nigga oh, before some of these hey, niggas. Doc, hey, Doc, because Paul, Paul Wall, Wall black. really stand on shit. No. <laughs> Paul Wall black. Paul Wall black. Paul Wall is black. white. He's, he's white. He white. He might grip around black he's people. Black. Yeah. He's white. <laughs> he white. He white. He black. We get white. And that's the thing. We be giving people passes. <laughs> and you gonna get fucked up around somebody else. <laughs> white? Nah, he ain't never gonna right, say it. He ain't never gonna say it. But you like, right. that nigga black. He, no, no, he white, but he's, he's a nigga. <laughs> yeah, okay, all right, okay, yeah. He white, but he's a nigga. All right, I take that. All right, he and white, then we have we can have somebody. Uh, who the fuck is not a nigga, but he black? Ah, oh, it's so many. Wayne Brady. <laughs> who? I said Wayne Brady. Who is that? Uh, you don't know, you don't know Wayne Brady. He Wayne does, uh, Brady. Let's make a deal. Yeah, but See, man, I only be tuning in into the niggas. Dave Chappelle made some shit about him. Oh. Uh, uh-huh. uh, no, I love that nigga though. Tate Diggs, he not a nigga, but Tate he Diggs. black. Yeah, is he really like uh like how he played like on the wrong? Like he, he, Cause that's he, the dude that was on Ma- Malibu's Most Wanted, right? Yeah, the dude like dude, that's freaking whack. It don't diss me, that's bro. Yeah, you know yeah. You know who we talking about? Mm-hmm, Tate Diggs. Yeah. He really act like that? But he, but he no, I don't know. Not, I, know like, I know they white women. Ted Cruz. Yeah, he, he, he ain't no nigga. nigga. Nah. You think he but I wouldn't the be roles, mad if he, he said nigga he black like it, I wouldn't take you it you know what I meant Tay Cruz <laughs> or... I meant Tay Cruz and he cool yeah. <laughs> I ain't spent enough time with him but I have had a conversation Damn, with him but okay. I don't know but you gotta see what I'm saying right I'm saying like I can't find a person <laughs> who yeah. um it's a lot I just don't I be I be getting mad when I be seeing it and I be forgetting about these coon ass niggas uh you anybody in the back got an example? <laughs> I not. Y'all dropping comments. Let's it's somebody clear. watching this right now that know. Clear. It's somebody black Tay that's Diggs not a nigga. Cool. I wasn't saying that. Yeah. I'm saying Tay Diggs is like, he black. He's a white woman. Oh, really? He I mean, date white women too? I mean, he got April Jones now. Mm-hmm. Um, she ain't black. Hunt, yeah. Mama. Mm-hmm. Oh, damn. She, I kind of feel like damn, you damn near be, you should, you should be... Uh, I'm finna go too far Cause you know I'm more of a nigga than nigga So let me stop Cause this is gonna The whole world gonna get mad at me Do y'all, say, just, do y'all I, say that around white people? I say nigga other? around everybody mm. Nigga I'm that yeah. I'm a like, proud nigga I'm gonna keep it a thousand <laughs> There's moments that I have Carry my conversation There is moments where I, I had to like Yeah Not Just off of the strength of I don't be worried about people judging me But I gotta conduct myself a certain way yeah. Depending on like what it what it is. So. I typically don't like in comedy shows, uh-huh. but aside from that, oh, because yeah, because honestly, the thought that, is that like way. we really shouldn't be saying it. You know what I mean? <laughs> but we we've, we've tried to we have made it this term of endearment, like my nigga type thing. But it's like exactly. the root of it is like, damn, we really. I be I always thinking like I really shouldn't even be saying this word. You know what I yeah. mean? So I am I conscious all black of. Be that shit, I was on set one time with this dude, it. Mm-hmm. and it was like maybe three of three black people and like all white people, and he was just dropping so nigga 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 and I was just like ah, I just hate that because when you think about it and like you said it's on the one hand like I don't care what they think and on the other hand it's like yo they took this word to try to break us down and so yeah we claimed it and made it this thing but to mm-hmm. be in front of white people just like nigga it's like damn this just perpetuates like yeah. what you know I it think that's the one up we got on their ass, and we can not use it. <laughs> I can say okay. nigga all you this can't. time. You can't. That's <laughs> but, the only, but you that's not, the only but thing not, you but can't do. You said they you, can. You. That's the only thing you can't do. Yeah. Mm. You, it's so much shit that they can do that we can't. Yeah. Mm. We can't do. I mean. Because we a nigga. Mm-hmm. And that's the shit these, some of these African Americans <laughs> forget. <laughs> <laughs> nah, oh, for real. Because you a good yeah. African American. Don't forget you a nigga. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I I didn't been on set like that before. Um, when I was like doing some assistant directing shit, and mm-hmm. it was a um, it was a craft lady. You know the people that make the craft tables, mm-hmm. and snacks and shit. She was a black lady, bro. Mm-hmm. And I um, walked in. Hey, how you doing? Off the rip, gave me bad energy, but nice as fuck to the white people, mm-hmm. bro. Mm. I was helping the crew clean up and load out some shit. I'm not even supposed to do this, nigga. Technically, I'm ready to go. Once mm-hmm. a production report is done, bro, I'm ready to go. Yeah. So I'm helping clean up and shit. And uh, she laughed with the white people, bro. And emptying out the trash, she like, you drop that in front of them type shit. And I'm like, bitch, at the end of the day, you still a nigga. 
They still they gonna fuck with you because you yeah. making them snacks. Yeah. <laughs> but nigga, they talking about you at home. Trust me, yeah. bro. So it'd be like it'd be like those black people. I'd be like, bro. Yeah, yeah I, black people don't be, be doing this shit for these motherfuckers and yeah. then realize, nigga, I'm still a part of you. Yeah, because yeah. I was at, gonna fuck with you. Nigga, I was at Walmart. I was at Walmart and uh, I was buying some shit. Right, mm -hmm. the lady, the lady gonna tell me that work at Walmart. Black lady gonna tell me, yeah, don't be in here stealing nothing. And it's it's hella white people by me. She yeah. don't say nothing to the wow. white people, none of the other races. Yeah. She say something to me. Now I understand, but I don't. No, you why? feel me? Because why is that ever coming yeah. out your mouth? Yeah. I have to tell the bitch I got more chicken than you. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. Uh, I got more chicken than you. Don't say that to me. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why that would ever be a comment. Right? You know that shit. But it's like it. she shouldn't be able to say nigga. <laughs> no, nah, yeah. Don't Lewis say nigga to me. Here snatching people niggas' cars. You, you niggas we should be able to snatch niggas' cars. He keep it entirely <laughs> like, the bitch at Walmart can't yeah. say nigga. Yeah. <laughs> people that live. use religion and say they don't cuss and this, and then when they get some money, <laughs> niggas start acting, nope, it's over. Taking that back. No. Don't use nigga <laughs> or me. to capitalize off of niggas. Yeah. I don't say niggas to get niggas on my side. No, nah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I do notice some comedians that... I'm just saying entertainers only, in general. Yeah, but I'm just thinking about, like, just that shit. Like, it's, it's some motherfuckers, like you said earlier, that didn't say that shit until they got a certain thing to cross over into that. And it's like, you're not, you're not being my nigga, you being a nigga. Like, you are... Doing it, you know what I'm saying, for they bucks. Like how she said, the person in the room that was like hella white people and he just dropping nigga, 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 nigga. Yeah. It's like, bro, you're not doing it out of humor. You're doing it to plead. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. you get what I'm trying to say? Or am I, I see what you're so saying. Like, so you're saying that these people got money and then now they're saying it because it's like, like, they I, think white people. No, will, it's kind of like. Get, it's or now they, want, uh, they, now they want black people to be It's like trying to buy respect. Yeah. Uh, okay. It's like, I'm say. oh, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a do this and this. And then since I got this, now I can I, can buy I can, I can you. buy you like certain you things can't. you can't buy. Gotcha. You can't yeah. buy to be a part of this culture. Yeah. You yeah. can't buy to be black. You can't buy like yeah. like you said, Paul well, he is white. <laughs> no matter how, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we, gotta I stop, we gotta stop opening the But we be the, harder the, on the, the other race. We everybody. be harder on Asians and and yeah. these but some of these ages is realer niggas than some of these niggas. Nah, I, I I be on black people yeah, and shit too. But you can't say nigga. <laughs> okay, I, I feel really you are. Know. I feel you. It's a lot of niggas being said on <laughs> this episode right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real nigga I mean, got <laughs> nah, I feel like the Asians out there in the town, like with me going out there, yeah. I'm like, nah, they they really like act like y'all. So I give I give Samoans can say nigga. No. And nobody gonna stop them. No. You ain't gonna, <laughs> hey, you're no, not gonna say nothing. I will say something to a big ass Samoan. They hella big. Or a tongue. I will say something to a big ass Samoan. I, 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 I will be like, she not from out here. <laughs> 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 I'll be like, she with me. Hey, you feel me? Let that shit like, go. Cool, let it go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let it go. No, no. Yeah, no. for sure. <laughs> let her slide, please. All the Samoans. It's some Samoans watching this. Say, this bitch got me. Hey, I'm telling you, nigga. Hey. No, I don't then play don't that. Don't visit Carson at all. I don't don't visit that. Carson, and you gonna hear them niggas. I blood them niggas. Woo -woo. Yeah. Don't say that. That's the yeah, last fine. shit you gonna remember when you gonna mm -mm. wake the fuck up. Nigga with a tumbleweed in the gas station by so yourself. You gotta stand for something, you know. I feel it. I feel you, but damn, hey, you on your own. This is more telling me, Luke. You gonna walk off? <laughs> <on. laughs> hey, now I'm turning to an African American. Oh, like, hey, hey, look, guys, I'm African American. I ain't a nigga no more. <laughs> That shit, dude. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, I don't play that. Mm -mm. Uh, I fuck with you though. If you mm -mm. stand on that, yeah. I stand with you. <laughs> I stand with you. I just be like, I get to understand it. <laughs> I be like, hold on, Keisha. Oh, you with me? We good? Hey, my Samoan partners, man. You understand me culturally? You know, because <laughs> you know they get mad if you call like if you call a tongue in a Samoan or so. Yeah, like you know that shit offensive. So it's nigga. Yeah, so that's how I would break it down <laughs> to him. I'd be right like, now, that's right like calling you a tongue. You want know, <laughs> you want know, no, like that? The, yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious, bro. That's yeah. hella funny. Yeah. Ah, yeah. It's 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 hard uh, out here. It's uh, 
2023s, a lot of things changed. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's hard to even meet people now. No, nah, for real. Mm. Oh, mamas, I'm OG. I be going to the mall trying to find women. There don't be nobody at the oh, mall no more. Nah, yeah. I'm an OG nigga now, I guess. Oh, <laughs> so, where all the bad Like, where I If you go out, I mean, because y'all go out. Where do you find, where, where yeah. you feel like you can find a good man? Don't say like, church. So here's the thing. Like, <laughs> no, 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 no. Home Depot. But here's the the thing mm. is that LA niggas ain't got houses. Everybody live in apartments. So that's, a good point. that's, that's where that. it's tough. But that's if you live someplace point. else, like this Home Depot, Lowe's, that's where you got to go. You're going to be in there with all Mexicans. <laughs> all Mexicans. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Out hey, here, that's what I'm saying. That, I, that, the I, trick, I, it don't work in LA. I, nigga, I, I don't know. All right, nigga. You gonna Your be, guess is as good as mine. You're going to you, you gonna, you gonna, uh, turn to one of them fucking Lifetime movie stories, finding a nigga at, at, at uh, Lowe's. Uh-huh. Then they're going to lock her ass in the basement, nigga. That nigga, hey, man. That black dudes don't do that. That's, yeah, that's a white man shit. That. Them African Americans would. Oh, okay, so, so, hey, so, hey, so African Americans would. <laughs> niggas don't do okay. that. Okay. African Americans. So, uh, so I think R. 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 Like, Kelly shouldn't get all that time. Then if is he R. Kelly like the a nigga or is he African American? I, I think he a nigga, nigga. Like he he gotta be. I don't what think he's think African he's American. <laughs> I mean, you watch the documentary. There's, there's a lot of things they I said, think he is. They, they nigga said he was a one. square. He was in the house getting roasted. <laughs> like R. Kelly was a nigga. Robert is an African American, <laughs> and Robert was the one that was kidnapping them girls. <laughs> R. Kelly didn't do that. <laughs> they R. Kelly didn't do that. That was Robert. Oh my god. <laughs> oh was a nigga. Hey, um, hey, I want that clip, my Instagram <laughs> nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even do that. That was Robert. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, I me. Mean, so, do you still listen to R. Kelly or no? No. Mm-mm. Really? Mm-mm. Damn. Like even the music. Like, uh, I mean, it's scandal proof though. Damn. You sound like if a if a man date. Uh, do you feel like uh, a man could be like, like about his culture, like pro black and all of that, and date outside of his race? Um. The younger me would have been like, no. The older me is like, I think it's possible. I think it's very few instances, but I think it's possible. I think you could be pro black and about. That's tough. I don't know. Mm. I mean, maybe you just met somebody and she your was partner. Dope that's and the you that's the closest for. person you. That's but the that's person you closest to. Because if you're so pro black, then it's like, I would think you would want a black woman and you want to have black kids and you know what I mean. So mm. it's like, but I do know that you could, you know. I think it's a difference between the dudes that are seeking something other than black women because that's the thing in LA too. Is mm-hmm. like they want anything other than a black woman. It's a difference Damn. between that and it's a difference that's between true. you so happen to meet a woman who is whatever she is and you so happen to fall in love with her versus like I I just I don't want black women. You know what I mean? So I mean maybe you I I, I guess you could that's a tough question. I that feel like you could one, be huh? pro black. Yeah, yeah. I feel like you could be that's tough yeah. ah. y'all put a comment can you be pro black and date outside of your race I'm like hell no that's a t- uh, that's a good question that's a good one right yeah cause that go back that's what I'm saying about this nigga shit nobody fight for niggas more than me <laughs> I, mean, I fuck with black people good, <laughs> but I mean when you if you look back to like my Angelou she dated a white man I, I she never pro knew black. That. I ain't know that. I know. You know what I mean? I know so it's like, so how, how you pro black if you didn't date it out? You feel me? Yeah. Cause that means you basically say you can say but, certain things and your partner can't. Like I could have like, how yeah, you gonna I mean, watch a movie like you, and be like, boy, that nigga just got smoked, <laughs> and then your girl just like. <laughs> Yeah, she can't say that. But I mean, you can, you can still, crazy. before the advancement of black people, you can still, you know. You can still. <laughs> yeah, it did happen to them. It did. Um, I mean, yeah. they shouldn't be saying that regardless. But but I think you should. You can still. You know, when you watch a movie, you really in your feelings about shit. Oh, me. Oh, <laughs> you watch a Fruitville Station, then they're going to cry. Oh, me. And then yeah. your partner is just like, you okay? <laughs> I mean, I, I guess it depends on who you picking. It's not for me. I'm going to say that. <laughs> it's not for you. No, absolutely right. not. No. Why not? Oh, no, I need a black man. Why? Because I just, it, that's what I, I'm, that's what all I'm attracted to because I am pro-black and I want to have black children and I want black 
people to continue on and not die out and just become a mixed race. <laughs> yeah, because um, everybody mixed okay. now. <laughs> right. We're the last niggas left. It's us three out here. <laughs> 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 so that's that's important to me. Like you, yeah, I don't even know that I could do it. And shout out person. to all the mixed people. I fuck with you, yeah. Blake Griffin ass yeah, niggas, yeah. man. I mean, you know, you know, know, I'm not against it. Ain't nothing wrong with you, Austin Rivers ass but niggas, I've man. But I've never seen a mixed person. I've never. I'm trying to think. I haven't really seen any mixed dudes that I didn't know was mixed. So I, I'm not. I'm not really. My. J. Cole, what turns my Black. light skin dudes don't turn my head. <laughs> put it like that. It doesn't mean I won't talk to a light skin dude, mm-hmm. but I won't. If I see a light skinned dude walking down the street, I'm not like, damn, who is he? But if I see a brown skin or a dark skinned dude, you know what I mean? Um, I've never seen a dark skinned mixed dude, right? Not saying it don't exist because maybe they're mixed with like Indian, you know what I mean? Whatever. Yeah, that's but different. We're I always about can that tell when shit. a person is, I'm attracted to black features, you know what I mean? So, yeah. like, I don't like the curly hair. That's not my thing. <laughs> I don't like. So I'm, if they try to knock you with the curls, you nah, ain't. Nah, I'm, 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 I love black features. I like, yeah, you know. But you feel like black. You think black men is not uh, uh, like obsessed with black women right now in this day and age. I think plenty of them are. I think we focus on, and I think a lot of them are in the limelight, like celebrities, <coughs> the ones that mm-hmm. aren't. And so it seems to be this big thing of because if you look at the numbers statistically. Uh, there are more black men that marry black women than those that don't. Mm. Way more. But I think that the focus and the lens is on the ones that don't. And I think mm. in L.A., because I, I saw that when I first got here, I was like, yo, I, I, where's, I don't see black men with black women walking yeah. down the street. Really? I really see, like, I started seeing maybe some older couples here and there, but, like, you don't really see black dudes Quan, you from with LA? black girls. Yeah. It's, it depends on where she at. Because, like I say, like, and like on the other side of Pico, it's like you will see it often. Like mm-hmm. I mean, you you will see black dudes with Mexican girls, but like really, that's what I'm saying that's not of, black. You'll yeah. see a lot of black dudes with black girls though, but it just depends on where you at. Like if you in like North Hollywood, like see, th- all those areas, yeah. nigga, you're not gonna really see. I it. think yeah, out, I was here, somewhere out here, yeah. I think out here it's people only associate white with dating outside your race. They'll be with a Armenian chick or a Latino chick yeah, or dem- whatever, and they'll feel like they're still like, no, that's not a black woman. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, that's still so audio. yeah, I didn't when I got out here, I was like, yo, that was culture shock for me. So I think <laughs> that, but I think overall, by large, absolutely, I think black men love and adore and date black women. Oh yeah, yeah, for by sure. By large, yeah, yeah, shit, absolutely. L- L.A. I mean, they got some good ones. So let me not say that L.A. Don't chew my head off. There are good ones, but like, I mean, shit, I be in the hood a lot. <laughs> so, this nigga it's like, so it's like everybody know everybody or like yeah. it'd be hard cause niggas done fucked with everybody like oh you fuck with her too so a lot of niggas be trying to go out and yeah I see but I feel like that's sense. everywhere yeah, yeah but like yeah, that's everywhere. I be feeling like dudes out here be making it dudes be making excuses no. I be like look if you wanna fuck with a white girl just say that cause you be like <laughs> no. I did it for black women it just no. didn't work out okay then date yeah. the fifth one what do you mean date the, have you yeah, unless you dated never, every single I, I, black I, I, woman I in the world never, I, I, I never counted black people no I'm not saying you but I'm just saying like in general dudes yeah. would be like oh I tried black women and, da, 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 and I'm like you have dated like, every you black trying, woman yeah. Cause I done dated you niggas, and let me tell you, you know what I mean. But like, <laughs> yeah. but that doesn't make, it doesn't make me say, oh, let me go get a white dude. It's like, oh, this dude just isn't the right dude, right. or oh, I didn't get what I needed out of this particular dude. But like, I don't like when black people say like counting black people, like like also like, you know, like you said, like you I dated five black girls. It's oh, like, nigga, yeah. you count black yeah, people, yeah. Well, you and that's how you know that ain't you really no nigga want. shit. You was yeah. trying to just get to the correct that's an number to be like, All right, let me go to the white girls, yeah. like it's African American. <laughs> He's counting our people. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah I, only have, I dated I only six like black years. girls. <laughs> nigga, what? That's something you feel yeah. me was saying. Like, nigga, what? Yeah. yeah. You don't it's, count those. You don't count I your mean, people? For your record, if you like that. But, like, you don't count it like, okay. You count the other races. Niggas you not like, many other ones. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Nigga, like, I ain't gonna lie. Because, I had about six ages. Because I've never heard a white person like, yeah, I, I had about, like, a cool six <laughs> white girls. <laughs> they ain't never gonna say that shit. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I, I had... I had like two black girls. Yeah, like I had a chocolate one. <laughs> I had a chocolate one. A dark one. Like the niggas on Kobe even know had niggas scared for fuck white girls for a minute. Cause I was young when that shit happened <laughs> oh with Kobe. Rest in peace, Kobe. He a legend, hey, but he no, had niggas hey, spooked. No cap. 
I was like, like six. I'm like, I ain't fucking with that Kobe <laughs> shit. As I was a kid, I always was scared of that shit. Just because, mm. like, I always, I always thought, <laughs> like, I was getting shit. trouble, Like, it was bro. crack. Like, like, yeah, like, we ain't talking about Why you heroin. scared, boy? Because <laughs> I thought I was going to go to jail. I was going to die, nigga. Uh, I was like, yeah. a white woman. Nah, yeah, oh. yeah. So I never, but, like, in the hood, you, you really going to be around more, like, Latino and other than white people like that. What about so, black? Where are the black? There's no black girls in the hood? No, hell yeah. I love black girls. Oh, okay. <laughs> I fucking love them, but I'm saying, like, you would, like, you in a hood, like, you only surrounded by that. White people starting to come now because they buying mm. all the shit. Yeah. But that was, like, you couldn't see yourself fucking with a white girl. Well, see, this is, I, yeah. I think this is my thing. So, not just white, anything other than black is what I I'm mean, saying. I, I, I have dated a few. Well, no, I dated one Mexican chick, but, like, you not from it, LA. It, you ain't dated Mexican. It, That's how they fuck with it out here. Yeah, it was. It wasn't because I was tired of black girls. It was just like somebody else. Now the Bay niggas, the a Bay mm-hmm. nigga gonna knock one of them agents for sure. Yeah. Like every like when Jeezy got with his, his girl, <laughs> everybody was shocked. A Bay <laughs> nigga was like, that shit makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know she from the Bay yeah. too. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh okay. she is. Yeah, she from oh, the yeah. Bay. I didn't know she was from the Bay because I'm from the Bay. I didn't know her in that world. Yeah. I, mm-hmm. She said it on TV and shit. Yeah. But I'm yeah. saying like when she said she was from the Bay, I'm like, yeah, she looked like she from the Bay. Yeah. It's like. It's mm-hmm. ages out there type shit. So. But I do love black on black love. And you know Jeezy and had Keisha Cole. Yeah. And she from the Bay too. Yeah. So he just liked the Bay shit. He like, <laughs> I, I can't fuck with the, that <laughs> shit. <laughs> but, and then it's like, so that'd be happening. Yeah. The niggas yeah. was like, all right, you know, have about 50 Keisha Coles. You traumatized. <laughs> 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 but that exists within every culture. What you mean? Keisha Coles. So it's like, it's, it's, okay. Really? Yeah, it's, it's a person. Man, really? Yeah, it's I a person. Like people yeah. be like, black women have attitudes. Have you ever dealt with white women? Fact. Are you no, fucking no, sure. kidding me? No, for sure. That's why I'm like, if for you sure. want to date a white girl, just say that. Because please don't blame it on black women have attitudes. Because yeah. that's not no. I'm Every sorry, black I'm woman. Sorry. I that's like the that attitude. You dealt attitude, with. turn me on. I be ready for <laughs> hearing that attitude. Get the fuck out of my face, like girl. Shut your ass. <laughs> shut your little thick ass. <laughs> oh my god. I don't like it. I don't got no attitude. Yeah. It's just oh the person god. that you dealt with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut your ass up. I hate that little voice. <laughs> oh yeah. Everybody out here got that valuable voice. Yeah, I don't fuck with they that. They turn shit. that shit on and off though. For real, because when I watch people Insta stories and they go home, I'd be like, what happened? Yeah, like, they come that back out here and be like, um, so I'm just going like, to go to the mall. And... <laughs> like, Mitchell, you was at home. You had a whole country. Yeah, get you... that weird shit out. You was <laughs> what? <laughs> what that... like, it's, it's different. It's just, but I don't know. I think, I it's think a... LA is tough. It's a lot of black girls it's acting tough, like uh, the other cultures too, though. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. that's lost. what that's what that lost. surgery started from. And, and why why is our women that got natural, beautiful black lips, nice thick thighs, and <sighs> and, and nice yeah. ass I mean, these getting Botox surgeries. and these lip injections yeah. is out of that control. Be, and I tell you, Niggas it is. Be. Y'all look crazy. We yeah. love everybody, right? But I just gotta. It, that fucked up faces, boy. They look crazy. They like. Yeah. Stiff and stuck and just yeah, like that shit look nasty. Like you just got your mouth blew out. Like you just got a punch in the mouth. But you know, all know. women doing it and they got yeah. that from the other cultures. So it could yeah. be like, all right, why? why? I think everybody is hopping on whatever train is is popular. Like full lips is popular now. I remember yeah. back when I was a kid, younger, and ass it wasn't is popular. That. Everybody got yeah. it. Yeah, ass been popping that right. Shit, so shit now everybody's weak, getting though. whatever is considered. Yeah. You, know you know who started it, right? Of beauty. What? Who's All these what? women trying to look like Kim Kardashian. Oh. Mm-hmm. The Kardashians did all that to look like a black woman to get black men. Now you got black women mm-hmm. trying to look like yeah. a person that's trying to look like, like a black you. person. Yeah, so that shit is So like, we fucked crazy. up right now. It's, it's Real just, life. yeah. <laughs> Real life. It's crazy. But. Yeah. Still feel free to fuck with me. I fuck around with everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just that saying. It don't matter. <laughs> I'm that's just funny. saying. Yeah, I don't know. It's... Why you ain't getting your uh booty and oh, no, uh never. breasts done? I just love myself as I am. I just love God myself. gave me what He gave me. You ain't never so. gonna do it. Never. Somebody asked me that when I moved out here. Like, what's the first thing you gonna do when you get money? What you gonna fix on your body? And I was like, what? <laughs> nothing. You heard she was in the gym, nigga. I'm getting my eyebrows waxed. Up. What do you mean? Like, I'm not doing nothing. I I literally love myself as I am, flawed and all. I work out. I go to the gym. You oh, know yeah. what I mean. 
I like ice cream, so sometimes I gotta. Whew. But that's as far as it gets. Why do you like, think women doing it? I think that a couple of reasons. I think one, that's what they think men like or see. You know what I mean? Y'all like the pictures of the girls that got their ass out or got big ass. Or you always here. Even as I've, I've always been super slim. This is the most weight I've ever had on me in my life, right? Mm -hmm. So, but if I wasn't who I was, if I didn't have a strong upbringing, if I didn't have an amazing dad and granddad and men in my life, maybe I would feel that way from always hearing dudes being like the girl with the big, you know, with the fat ass. I mean, I always, in the most humble way, been real cute and I dress fly. So <laughs> I never had an issue of getting dudes, you know what I'm saying? So it wasn't like, oh my God, nobody wants me. Dudes still checked for me. I had my ex-boyfriend, all his exes is Mack trucks. You line them all up and then you have me and it'd be like, but I'm the one he loved the most, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so... I think you hear that and it kind of gets put into your head of like mm. dudes are checking for girls with fat asses right and I think if you don't have the highest self esteem or if you don't love yourself as you are and I think it's just become so trendy and such a normalized thing now that yeah. it's just like oh I'm gonna go get some ass I'm gonna go get some titties I also think it looks crazy yeah, you can always say like y'all titties look rock hard I'd rather just have some small soft titties than some big yeah. rock hard like I'm never unless it's medically necessary I'm never going under no knife for nothing like no I'm not getting no Botox oh, yeah. another thing like aging I'm like what is wrong with y'all that y'all don't want to get old do you know the alternative Mom's. to getting old mm -hmm. people be like I will gladly tell people my age any day like I got homegirls that always be like oh I'm this age or they don't want to tell nobody their age and it's like you know what a blessing it is to be 40 you Hell know what I mean people yeah. didn't make it to see 40 Hell yeah. so at, however I look at whatever age I get that's how I'm supposed to look you're not supposed to look 20 when you're 50 be 50 I think oh, something man. wrong with me I think I really like older women I think something really wrong with me so you 40 mm -hmm. man, get the fuck out of here yeah bro. you 40 I didn't know that yeah I'll be 41 Okay. wow yeah. you look like you motherfucking 28 <laughs> Why, thank so, you. Okay, damn. I don't do nothing to my body. Okay, so, 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 what y'all don't smoke or drink or something? Yeah. I drink occasionally. I don't smoke. I drink. You, you mm. do like natural medicines and shit, right? Or, or do what you, you actually like? You know how like there's the people that's on Instagram that does like all alkaline fruits and different medicines and things. No, nah. natural shit to heal your body. Um, I'm not big on medication. I mean, like on, I might take a Tylenol or something. I got some cramps, okay. but. I don't yeah. do I'm she not just, I'm not heavy into that something Cause like you know like I do I mean I Whole Foods I shop at Whole Foods You know what I mean That's about as, where as natural go. Or a farmer's market That's Or something crazy. but 41. But yeah But I think that Grocery you, stores matter too Oh, start oh to look older the more that you do into your body or even like heavy makeup it's like girls that be 27 yeah, but you looking old up. because you every single day you wear your skin can't even breathe or you got so much of it on yeah. so it's like I think just take care of yourself like for me it's just never an option I literally love myself as I am oh, I'm mama's. not like shit nah. that's, shit you can tell that, what the fuck that's that's crazy okay so tell them what you do so like they could I did a You know what's crazy I did a video the other day On mm -hmm. Instagram With my skincare routine Because people ask mm -hmm. me All the time like Oh my god You have nice skin With you in your skin Niggas don't want to listen I tell y'all what I use And y'all want to argue With me in the comments Right <laughs> <laughs> I can't use that On my skin Because my skin is <laughs> Well if you use it On your skin Then your skin Wouldn't be like it is I'm telling you oh, What to do funny. Like Nigga hella bumps On his face I can't funny. do that That's <laughs> gonna fuck up my face Your face already <laughs> fucked up What do you listen have to, to do lady. Try it I like, can't do that but no, I, don't even I like just, avocados. Like I can't put that on my face. It looks like it. Looks. I mean, I work out. I work out like three, four times a week, depending on my hair. I try to, you know. Yeah. Um, That's another thing I about drink a lot age of water. too. You gotta, you gotta really work out. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm getting to that age where I gotta work out, man. I'm like, this yeah. a bitch. My pack just went away. I oh, got yeah. a four pack. Oh, yeah. I used to have six. <laughs> I'm like, shit. Listen, my I got four right here. <laughs> hey, I'm telling you. Yeah, and just... that four barely showing. I'm like, hold on. <laughs> take my. I've been doing sit ups and shit. I'm like, I ain't trying to lose my pack, nigga. This shit, yeah, it's crazy. You got to work out. Um, I mean, for, you're right. For the most part, I'm not like a super health buff. You know what I'm saying? But I do try to eat right every now and then. Yesterday, I stopped at Chick Fil A. You know what I mean? But mm -hmm. um, I cook, so I eat fresh fruits and veggies. I don't really do frozen stuff. How you feel about really cooking do. for a man? Absolutely. Yeah. Like you think it, you you think you got to be in a a relationship with a guy like boyfriend and girlfriend for you to cook for? No, I mean if we're in the dating phase, and and for me it's it's like it depends on the 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 bond that we have and where we're at. So if it's just like oh you took me out one time, mm 
then okay, right? But if we kicking it, we dating, we might not be technically boyfriend girlfriend yet. We haven't made it official. Mm-hmm. Um, but you adding some value to my life, then yeah, I'm gonna cook for you. Would you Would you cook for a man before you have sex with him? Yeah. Yeah, because I I asked a few women that that question on the show, and a lot of you know even outside of the women that've been on the show, I just you know dealing with women, mm-hmm. they look like they they feel like cooking is more intimate than sex, like. Like, I got to be like, you got to be my nigga for me to be cooking. Yeah. But it's like, sister, I had sex with you. <laughs> that's like, not, like that I done had sex with that you. That I don't understand. Yeah. I'm the other way around. And you feel like, like, you're my nigga for me to fuck that's you. Crazy. But right? <laughs> to cook for you, if we're in the phase of dating with a purpose, right? And mm-hmm. I feel like he's really into me. I'm into him. Like, Them this is going somewhere. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to cook for you. <laughs> tacos. Yeah, I'm going to cook right? for you. Because I'm not, I mean, and again, this is just me. I'm not fucking you like on some first date, second date. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we've spending we're spending time together yeah. before we get to the point of having sex. So within that time frame, we're gonna have some days that we're kicking it at the crib. Yeah, I'm gonna cook for you. I don't have a, I I personally am for gendered roles. Not like a woman is only supposed to be barefoot and pregnant. Not on that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She's supposed to have no rights. But I feel like naturally for me. I'm going to cook. I'm going to take care of the home. I'm going to, we're more nurturing. We're more, you know, and as for a man, and I think maybe that also depends on who they're dealing with. If you don't mm-hmm. want to cook for your nigga, then I'm questioning what kind of nigga you dealing with, right? Oh, because my nigga is making sure my car is, is straight, making sure, you know, I ain't got to take out the garbage. I'm not doing, yeah. he's doing yeah. things see, that. in the midst of you cooking and all that, that's going to make me want to take care of that. That's what I'm saying. I can't so do I all that before you get to frying up some shit. I need to hear some <laughs> shit. <laughs> then I'm finna be like, shit, I'm finna take out the trash real quick. I'm finna come back. <laughs> like, I'm gonna start being productive because we got some right, rhythm right. in this motherfucker. So that's what I'm saying. Women be want you like, to be like, you ain't take out my trash. Be, why would I cook for you? It's like, I would have been. You fucking all this up because you talking you got, too much. You got tortino <laughs> pizza rolls in your oh fucking finger. <laughs> yeah, I get that. My homeboy said that. My homeboy was actually engaged. <laughs> And caught it off, and the girl was on some like, "You think I'm about to be cooking for you? Like, mind you, he pay all the bills. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's that's a, come on, yeah. And now I you think like, that's some West Coast shit? No, I think that's a, a he. A lot of my homeboys like to deal with young girls, and I'd be like, "This is what y'all get, my nigga. You era, forty, huh? you dealing with a twenty five year old? No, she I mean, not cooking for you. I need to be in the motherfucking eighty. Hey, She's not hey, cooking no, for no you. Cat, I think bro. things are kind of changing that, a bit. That's the shit that I that I liked the most was, all right." Me growing up, after my father was released from prison, mm-hmm. like my mom, she cooked for bro every day, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Niggas love cooking. School, I'm up the block. I'm like four house away from mine. I can smell that shit. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, I come up. Pop's got the big plate, nigga, like everything. She make his plate first, boom, 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 boom. And as I'm, as I'm growing up, I'm like, oh, it's going to be like that. <laughs> Guilty. I'm like, you ain't cooking like shit. So... I for sure ain't doing no damn cooking. If you ain't doing no cooking, so you don't get that shit none. Like, I I, I think that they, like, these girls now hated their big mamas and their mamas because they don't do none of the shit that they used to do. But it could also depend on, I was going to say, what they saw. So growing up, like, my it was always a hot meal in my house. My mama cooked every day from scratch. And my dad cooks, too. My dad is a really good cook. Mm-hmm. Most He would cook more in the summer because he put a lot of stuff on the grill. Mm-hmm. But my mom, I would say, it was more like 80-20. She cooked 80% of the time and maybe mm-hmm. 20% of the time my dad would cook. So... For me, that's why I'm not really big on, like, fast food or eating out. Like, I'll go out yeah. to eat on a date, or if I got to grab something last night, I would love to laugh at you. Like, shit, I got to eat them out and about, grab some Chick-fil-A. But I am I like home-cooked meals more because that's how I grew up. So maybe they didn't see that in their house. You know what I'm saying? Maybe yeah. that wasn't happening in their home. Or maybe the situation yeah. was, you know, you have some woman that's like, maybe the man in the house, whether it was a dad, stepdad, whomever, wasn't really a good dude and so maybe it did look like their mom was like getting finessed serving him or being wow. his slave yeah, in my okay. household it looked okay. like this is a family and this is what we do we yeah. sit down and we have a family dinner yeah. every day so that's important for me like I always want to cook for my man and my kid you know if I have yeah. my, when I have kids it's like I want to make sure I'm because there's something about your mom in the kitchen cooking that's love in that oh, food so it's oh, like mama. yeah it's like how you expect a man to love you if you if you not doing the shit a man love mm. it's like I, all right, I mean I think you want simple. me to start loving you yeah and then you're gonna start showing <laughs> but love. maybe what what are what are i don't know because you only dating girls one time lou and then you throw that's them away so that's the you're difference right. you might that's not get a saying. meal yeah you might not get a meal <laughs> you're right but if but if this new lou 
exactly. in the dating process, you might yeah. start getting some meals as you're dating a young lady consistently. Oh, uh, and you know, just feel free, you understand me? Just PSA, you understand me? Uh, Lou do get good meals, you understand me? Uh, that's part of my standard, you understand me? I'm just saying, this is the women that don't make the, you feel me? And then are you doing things to that's add what? value and make her life easier? Come are you on. doing, you know? I'm a walking lick, you understand me? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a package, you understand me? I'm, you know, you know, you got chips that, you know, come individual. Mm -hmm. You got the chips that come in the package. You feel me? Oh, you like, like the, okay, the variety. I'm one of them. If okay. I'm, I'm just okay. not the bag. I'm the, I'm the whole oowop. You understand me? I got Doritos, Funyuns. You and feel me? I don't me? know. I can't. I can't. I'm speak all that, that in one. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? I don't saying? understand that. I do hear that a lot from dudes, and I'm like, uh, yeah. that's crazy. I can't yeah, explain. Like, but it has a lot to do with the with the man though I, I truly understand yeah. that you know what I'm saying like me ain't gotta deserve certain yeah, things yeah yeah absolutely right. feel me but it's like alright you know I kinda feel like cause you can't like, just be no fuck boy and you want a girl to cook you see you. what I'm saying yeah. you gotta have some type of standard of yourself that you yeah. can you know some value yeah if you I'm know. feeling like mm, he ain't really in this he probably got a whole other, bunch of other chicks and we just, he just hit me sometime when he feel like then no and really I'm not gonna give you my time but I ain't gonna lie be doing if that if I'm dating though, you the type of dude that I'm gonna date then yeah Keisha I do be doing that shit too though this is this why you not getting yeah. you see what I'm saying Keisha I be doing that <laughs> Alicia you, cause I be cause like you, no. cause you said cause you just said uh he probably got other girls and he hit me. Yeah, like, just just calling her whenever when it's convenient for you. And you know what I mean? Then you're not going to get no home-cooked meal. You're not getting no plate. Shit. But I don't be having hella girls, though. See, not I just be so busy and I be doing what I got to do, like on some productive shit. And then once I'm done doing my responsibilities and my work, then a woman will come in my mind. So you got to like, you gotta feel, you she got to be able to feel like, my last relationship, it was like, it first started during kind of like COVID time, right? Mm -hmm. So stuff was kind of starting to open up, but like not really. So, I remember the first time we couldn't really go to a restaurant, but he went and got carry off from Ocean Prime, which I was like, I think he had saw a video I posted on my I page. I talked about it. He was hidden. So, oh, he's... <laughs> no. He was not being thoughtful. Oh, that nigga was just up. <laughs> so, he was all... He, 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 he uh, stayed consistently he thoughtful, ED, right? Yeah. So, he saw what I said I liked on it, came over with all this stuff, whatever, and just consistently, <laughs> right? Consistently, consistently, consistently. Yeah. And so, always looking out, always doing nice things, whatever. Mm -hmm. So, then one day... Um, he was out of town He came back into town And was like Yo I'm gonna come over And grab some breakfast What you want And uh -huh. I was like Oh don't worry Don't grab nothing And he was like What Like no let me grab some Whatever Because I was like I'm a cook I'm gonna make breakfast Because yeah. Consistently He has made sure He's always came Over here with food He's always You know what I mean mm. Like he, as soon as he come over He take my trash out He'll come over And look in the refrigerator Not cause he trying to see What to eat He's making sure Oh do she got groceries oh, I came back in town one nigga. time oh, yeah, yeah. He just hit me With a hundred dollar Trader Joe gift card no. And feel bad Because he was like Oh shit I'm sorry He, he shop at home I know what's the what, like, he, oh, what's Trader Joe's It don't matter What, what he do, what what he do? That, Why he That didn't work I didn't know He broke up with me uh, What? What is Okay what did you do your guess is as good as mine. No, <laughs> um, no I think it was no no, no, no. I think it was a bad. I think it was a bad time. I think we had a great relationship, and I think that it was like that nigga had a communication. Wife. No, he no, had a wife. she he had did a wife. something. What you yeah. do? No, I didn't do. I anything. told you, I, I didn't do shit. anything specific. See, I think it was like I'm working on myself. You know how like the honeymoon phase starts to slowly end, and you start to kind of we learn how to coexist and live amongst one another, kind of okay. thing. Um, communication. I think it was just really bad timing mm -hmm. on. The relationship in general and then he had some personal stuff happening like some family stuff but so, he left you yeah so it was like what did I just, you do i did not do nothing specific oh, shit, i promise Keisha. you it was like oh i just i can't see, be fellas, relationship you right can now do all i got that too much shit. on my plate mm -hmm. that's why see i no, might be in a I, good position i really <laughs> didn't <laughs> now you better make me stay I the same swear. Way. Did, you did you cuss him out did you no did I, did no you i was not like that hit him with a trigger word no it was like Community, he his thing she was that his nigga thing was bitch. No, no, I don't talk. Like, I don't talk to somebody. She like that. shut your square ass up, nigga. When like I tell you to bring you some food, you bring it, nigga. You know what time it is with me. I don't me. talk. I definitely don't talk like that. No, no. I said no. Blind, he was just like communication. He's like, nigga, I, I feel like you know. She talking about. So, so this is not a a, a A1 thing. <laughs> this is not a filet me young. Did you just bring me some shrimp? I, I asked for puns, nigga. 
<laughs> this I, I know the EDD money slowing <laughs> down, <laughs> but you got me fucked up. I do not talk to any man like that. Hey, Absolutely not. Hey, you LA niggas is no. weird. Why y'all ain't trying to talk to her yet? And like, if she doing all this shit and, 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 and say grand rise and they call niggas <laughs> kings and put on their do rags, <laughs> what the fuck is you niggas not doing? Y'all niggas weird, bro. But that ain't weird. cool. I don't appreciate. I don't appreciate Keisha saying she don't know yeah, what she did. Yeah, it was, did no, here's the thing. It wasn't. Bro. It wasn't anything specific. It was like regular, like you know, we we never had arguments of like fuck you. We don't talk to each other like that, mm-hmm. you know. But you, we had disagreements or we've had moments of like you getting on my nerves, I'm getting your nerves. That's normal <laughs> shit, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, but I just think it was a bad time in his life for what he had going on mm-hmm. to try and be in a relationship. So it was a thing of like nothing personal. It was literally like I love you. I think you're amazing. Mm-hmm. Blah, blah blah blah. I just got X, Y, and Z going on, and I just think that the timing right now, whatever. And I thought it was silly. Like this is niggas go through twelve times thing more oh, worse than like oh, our communication. Then that's yeah. a conversation. You know what I mean? But I just think he was in a space of like yeah, because that's how I leave it, women. It, it, I pl- I politely leave. I always just be like yeah. I'll, that's how I make a break up. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah, men don't I, I get mad. That. Men don't get mad. But no, it wasn't, it wasn't nothing that. specific. It, it wasn't like up. nobody cheated. Yeah. It wasn't like That's what I'm nothing saying. It bad happened. That. It was nothing it's like that. Built no, no, no. Up. It's built no. up. Like, all right, if I bring if I bring Keisha another steak and she <laughs> twists <laughs> her neck a certain way, <laughs> this shit gonna be over with. <laughs> Cause she, she did it ten neck. times in a row. <laughs> I done brought ten steaks <laughs> and, and looked in the refrigerator. <laughs> you feel me? Took out the trash and she still <laughs> twist her neck like this. <laughs> feel me? So she do that shit. He probably talking to his partners. If she do that shit one more time, I'm gonna bring this. Steak. If I bring it in there and she twists her neck, this shit gonna be over. Oh. <laughs> so then Keisha like, I didn't really do nothing. It. It's like, no, you twist no, you your neck it. 11 oh times. My and that 12th time you did it, it's like, shit over. Boy, the next shit gonna twist it 13 times and she ain't gonna cook for you. So <laughs> that, That's a fact, that's too. Funny. So, that's a fact. yeah, it's a give I mean, and take. You know? That's a fact. Because he out there, he probably that's hungry as a motherfucker crazy. right now without you. No, I'm not speaking on that man. I have nothing but love for him. It's not nah, a bad. It was never a right bad now. I mean, he missed him, Keisha. And Keisha emails. I'm telling you right now, that nigga probably watching this episode be like, I ain't gonna lie, I damn near need to double back. No, he's a really good cook. He cooked a lot for me. Um, oh, he so did no, everything. Oh, yeah, he's a bad thing. He's a really good cook. She did some. I promise he, you. She like, probably like, didn't get that nigga no head. She was, just, she was the one getting no, hit. That all definitely the time. wasn't a complaint. <laughs> That wasn't a complaint. He was getting hit. You niggas is weird. That wasn't I just want to like, I don't I'm know. not speaking bad on this person. She's treating that nigga like a bitch. How did we get here? No, no, absolutely not. Yeah, yeah. hey, man. How did we hey, get hey, here? Hey, hey, come on. The hey. nigga cooked yesterday with me. Yes. Took out my oh trash yesterday with me. No, oh, hey. I yeah, 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 How yeah, did we even get here? Uh, hey, hey, yeah, yeah. Absolutely Keisha not. Pee. <laughs> no, I am not. Absolutely. You're a oh my yes, gosh. That's what happened. Absolutely not. They're, nothing but love for that person. <sighs> nothing but love for that person. Like, like, nigga, you gotta have an extra toe or something, because like, ain't no way <laughs> you do all this shit and you ain't had no kids. Mm-mm. You ain't niggas ain't trying to propose to you or nothing, and this nigga broke up with you. What you doing? It's something about you. He like, said communication. His reason was communication. I feel like we're not on the same page. She, communication. Yeah, she, she shouldn't like a bitch. That's no, I, mean. I never. No, no, no. no. <laughs> that's what it no. is. It's gonna be. Cause, no. Or, or, or. Because that's what I get complaints about. Communication. No, I have nothing but respect for him. I, I would, you I probably just like need that. to deal with a nigga that don't communicate is good. So y'all both be like, shit, I'm already know <laughs> <laughs> That's you what I'm talking about. You need to deal with a nigga. <laughs> nigga be mad as fuck. I won't talk to Keisha at all. She thirsty. She's no, Ooh, I, 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 like I, no, like a nigga. No, like, I know. No, I need somebody that communicates good. But I mean, I feel like that's. I feel like you're going to have disagreements. I feel like you're going to like. It was a time I had an attitude. It's not adding up. because my cousin died, mm-hmm. and I'm like, yo, I'm going through. My yeah. cousin was dying. He had cancer. I had to fly to DC to say my goodbyes and fly back. And I'm really going through. And I hit you and like you kicking it with the homie. And I'm like, all right. So I got attitude. I ain't gonna hold you. You know yeah. what I mean? Like. Yeah. But I don't think you break up with him. <laughs> like, oh, you know what I'm saying? So, this shit was built up. I'm telling you. Yeah, hey, it mean, could be. Look, it could what be. What it was? He Maybe. Was, he was like, what's wrong? Nothing. No, I didn't say nothing. I made it very clear what was wrong with you me. You know how like girls be like, when you ask what's wrong, nothing wrong with me. And you yeah. be like, I want to go outside. Go. He no, like, no, no, no. They be shit, cooking when a nigga time. stop caring. No, no, no. Oh, no. So when it stop cooking? Not when he stopped care. So <laughs> when he stopped like, care, he be over with. Like you but know, nah. be like, 
Cause I for sure I'll be like, man, this shit over with. Lose my on the second date. Yeah, I'm working no, on it wasn't, me it wasn't trying to bad. extend shit. I be, I be, I be cutting. <laughs> I cut I mean, a girl off cause she didn't pull up to the oh front. God. But see, that's a problem. I told a girl to pick me up from somewhere. Oh I got God. spot. Cause my thing is, I'm not a nigga that need nothing. I got everything I need in my life. So why you ain't have a ride? Because I wanted to go to the airport. <laughs> Why you ain't take Uber? Because so, I want. I'm the type of nigga don't need nothing, but you have, you but, ain't pull hey, up right here look, on the green look, line. I don't need them, but I want some. Okay. You understand me? It's a difference. I want you to do something. I, need, I got to the airport and I stopped fucking with her ass. But I got an you, Uber and I said, "This is the end wait, of this relationship." You stopped fucking with her end. because she didn't pull up to where you want her to pull up. To. I told her to pull up to the front. Lou, we got to do better. She didn't pull like, up. I asked you to pull up to the front. We Why would you make me walk down the street? And I told you to pull up in the front. I don't walk down the street. When I park, I don't park yeah. down the street. <laughs> so you come to, I want you to treat me how I treat me. Treat me how I treat me. Oh my God. If you can't treat me how I treat me, then, uh, yeah, it's over, sister. <laughs> what? But then you're going to just be going from relationship to relationship to relationship. And that's what I've been doing. Chick, so chick, because nobody's do perfect. It's going to always be something. So I should yeah. just be like, yep. I don't think you should deal with no big shit. I ain't saying deal with nobody cheating, deal with nobody putting their hands on you, deal with nobody stealing from you. Nothing major, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I think you steal from me, like it's 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 up. I think that's like, the problem. Why would you, this, why would you this steal from time. me? I just be feel like that's why niggas be getting shot and all type oh, yeah, of no, shit. No, no, yeah, for Cause sure. it be the inconsiderate thing. That's why it's like don't you worried about what you don't want to do, but it's like wait, you be yeah. shooting like a girl again? Shot? Nah, like. <laughs> Say if I walk down the street, right? Yeah. I'm on some goofy shit. I'm getting out of my, oh, I'm getting out of my else. element okay. or my yeah. high move because a female. Okay. That's it, uh, yeah. a woman is your biggest strength or your biggest weakness. Choose wisely. Mean. So it's like you feel me. The biggest strength yeah. is if ah uh-uh, you pull up in the front. Ooh, all right, good yeah. see you, baby. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> the weakness yeah. could be, you know what I'm saying? I end up walking. Why was you walking down? Cause the girl, she yo corny <laughs> ass, yeah, nah. did. That's, I'm glad your dumb ass got robbed. Cause your corny <laughs> ass walked down the street cause a girl. Yeah, nigga, I'm not. Doing I that. mean, I see your point, but I also don't think just cut a person off. Damn. Not unless you just wasn't really feeling her like that to be. Nah, she was cool. Hey, Everything no, was real good. She, I just energy she shit. She telling you this shit, but this nigga with no name, we still trying to figure out why he called it. How Chris. did we even get here? I'm not man, discussing this no more. This is all. Hey, bro. No, when I say when the camera's do? cut, I me and you about to fight. Cause how did we even get here? What she do? How did we get here? I just wanna know. No, you know, cause this fuck shit comedian funny. Cause look, cook. Cause this throw that back. Look, cause this thug mansion. Eat natural. I we we trying to figure out. Yeah. What we need to do as people yeah. to be better. Mm-hmm. And I'm trying to figure out I gotta learn how to be a better person. The yeah. only to, mm-hmm. only way to talk to somebody, only way to get better is to talk to people to see things from a different yeah, yeah, lens. Yeah. So yes. But everybody me. everybody is different too because I mean you could have somebody that the next person is like, I'm a ride with this person through whatever, and somebody else might be like, I'm out at the drop of a dime. So I think it depends on the person. Like I got a homeboy. And this nigga be talking to me about his girl, and I'm like, nigga, like, yeah. I'd have got dumped seven times <laughs> by now. You know what I'm saying? But they two different people. Like, he's yeah. willing to work through what yeah. their issue and their issues is. And then be the ones that be having other shit. You know what I'm saying? The so it just depends on the person. It's the people yeah. that work through that shit. I yeah, guess. and it just depends I on the person. I gotta figure this Some shit dude, out. Somebody might know. treasure everything about that, and yeah. somebody might be like, I don't like that. One I'm thing, trying I'm to out. figure out if I'm willing to work through a lot of shit with somebody. Because I don't really think. I don't know about a lot of shit, but I think yeah. that if you leave at the drop of a dime, you, where is that going to get you? You're going to just go from, re- you the problem. I, exactly. You know what I'm saying? It ain't that person. You the problem. You're going to go from relationship to relationship to relationship. And I think that's the thing these days. Everybody is so like, oh, I get somebody else. Oh, I'm out. You hear people all the time like, I cut people off quick. And I'd be like, that's yeah. not a good thing. Yeah. yeah. It you really think ain't. People I say it like this. it's a great I mean, thing. That's a that's a problem that you got to work on within you because- yeah. We're all human. Nobody's going to be perfect. So if you're going to cut somebody off quick, you're going to just be running from one person to the next. And you're going to realize, damn, this person was actually not that fucking bad. Now that I'm over here. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, but I think it also depends again on what you want. If you want something longevity, you want to get married, you want something long lasting. People marry people. Mm -hmm. And again, I'm not saying put up with bullshit. Yeah. But they go through they go shit. Through you, they shit. be mad. They don't be talking to each other sometimes. It's really about weeks. love. You gotta go through it because you want to go through it. It's. I think it's tough to to yeah. when you living with a person. I think that can be hard in itself, right? Yeah. So you have to be committed to being committed. I love this person, yeah. and again, if they do some bullshit, then that's different, right? right? But 
ah, he keep his fucking socks in the living room. That might irritate me a bit, but I'm not breaking up with you because you leave your socks in the living room. You know what I mean? You tell us to do it, but like, also, I feel like it's better to know a person first before y'all do that moving in shit. Oh yeah, Yeah. that moving in shit. Like, like you really gotta learn a person ways, cause yeah, like you gotta compromise. That'll fuck up something good though. Like if you really fuck with a person, y'all rushing that shit, y'all moving it like without really learning a person. Yeah, and like, okay, I'm learning you to love you for you. Not for like whatever honeymoon stage it is, nigga. I want to yeah, because the honeymoon stage is gonna disappear in every mean, relationship. It is, and then that's when that's when the actual work comes in. So, are you willing to put in the work, or are you like, oh, huh, I'm out? You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So, yeah, I think I think that's you. To what you said, I agree. Like, you need to learn the person, and I think it's compromise that come with it. Like, I had to learn from talking mm-hmm. to my homegirls that's married. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, <clears throat> oh, that's niggas. Oh, mamas, yeah. Niggas, yeah. The, at most men, not all, mm-hmm. let, me, let me not even say most, a lot of yeah. men are just not neat, clean, not like y'all trifling, but like, y'all not going to keep a house the way I'm going to keep a house, right? Shit, my so shit then you gotta, sparkling, shining. <laughs> some men, <laughs> some men, absolutely, and some men just pad, you know stuff me? don't bother y'all. Yeah, take you know off your saying? shoes, baby, you know what I'm talking This about? might yeah. be able to yeah. sit on the table for three days, no, and it might not bother a dude, and it'll drive me crazy, so you got to learn to be like, all right, well... I got to give a little bit because he ain't going to, you know, yeah. be neat like me. And we got to. So I think it's like and that's a part of learning a person. That's a part mm-hmm. of that. That honeymoon phase dying down and you like this nigga cute, but goddamn. All right. You know, so you got to work, work within that. You yeah. know, I think I'm that is. I'm still struggling with spending the night. Shit. <laughs> I'm, like, sure, I'm, oh fucking I'm about to get up out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so far from moving yeah, in with okay. some. <laughs> like, hey, shit. I'm trying to figure out can we do a <gasps> slumber party at this motherfucker? Oh my gosh, yeah, yeah. I cannot. Y'all, y'all funny though. <laughs> like I'm finna go. Yeah, this has been a, this has been a hell of an episode. We've been fighting, we've been fighting different type of demons on this episode. <laughs> you understand me? You know, it just we we went from African Americans to right. niggas. <laughs> To, uh, day in, we all to over the place. Day and all type of <laughs> shit, but it's it's a healthy conversation, yeah. and uh, I always it's always a good conversation when Keisha E come through because she yeah. gonna she gonna bust us down with that uh, smart, intelligent, classy, <laughs> but uh, a little ratchet side on her. You know what I'm saying? So that's always good. You the last of the dying breed. They don't make you yeah. like you no more. Okay. Aww, you thank know. You. Okay. And sorry, it's hard out here. Yeah, it's hard. Being a, being a clear hexable <laughs> in a world hey, full of OnlyFans. Yeah. Uh, I just really, like, just want to say, like, you are an amazing person. You dope, but you. I really want to figure out what <laughs> this <laughs> nigga's stupid. <laughs> Can we cut? Why is the cameras cut? Because how did we even hey, get here? Hey, I don't know how we Look, got here. I'm we weren't saying, even supposed to get here. Oh, like, my gosh. All that shit that you mentioned, that's what a real nigga would want. Mm-hmm. And not even a real nigga, just a real man would want. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we and, overusing the word and, real nigga. And, and that's and that's <laughs> very rare. Mm-hmm. So this nigga turned into weird. This nigga like, talking into Doctor Doctor Phil. <laughs> nah, cause look, no, no, bro. Real this shit. turned to the red table yeah. talking. Sense, this motherfucker. In, in a sense, like no bullshit. It's like what you around, my nigga. Like me, I was around my mama, like doing shit. So me saying that, that's the idea of a woman. Like yeah. that's how mm-hmm. I expect a woman to be because I saw my mom do it, and like. You don't get that. So, nigga, for her to really be on that type of shit, don't talk, don't call a nigga a bitch, don't know none of that. Oh, no, I'm not, I'm not like that. <laughs> that is, that is. Well, like, I don't talk to like that. She's like grand rising, these nigga. I don't say grand rising, but I don't call niggas bitches. <laughs> I don't play with that it's, it's bitch word. I think also it depends no on what, um, <laughs> I got in this a lot. I used to get this a lot, too, in college and just coming up. I think it depends on where a man is at and what he wants because I think yeah. oftentimes a dude will be like, I know... I can't, I ain't on what she on. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. So if you know you just want to fuck around and have fun, whatever, and I'm on some like marriage, kids, build a life, yeah. then sometimes, and I'll hear, especially in the industry, you come, we were just having this conversation at uh, Live Factory. You have a lot of good grown niggas, 45 years old, like, mm-hmm. I'm just not ready for a relationship. It's like, what you, what you waiting on? <laughs> yeah. You yeah, need to have your life over. You, you, <laughs> you need right? to settle down. But a lot of dudes are just like, I'm just focused on my career and that's it. And so yeah. then it's like, I'm not even going to try and approach her because I'm going to approach the girl I can just take down for the night because I'm going right. to smash her and I got to get back that's to work. True. I'm not going to approach the girl that's that true. is looking to build a life with somebody because I ain't on that right now. That's so true. I think that happens that you know, happen. sometimes. And then in that in that instance, I'm not mad. Like, don't waste my time. You know what I'm saying? Sex. That's crazy. So, how y'all feel about women calling uh, dudes bro and bruh? 
You do that? No, not to Bro. my dude. That shit weird. To like my homies or something. But yeah. no, nah, not to my nigga. Yeah, don't do that yeah. shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like, I leave for less. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Susan and females say, bro, I'm like, like yeah, I'm to the house, man. You got a whole list of like, <laughs> you do anything. She can be fully she naked. Out. Damn, bro. Yeah, I'm you know, to the house. Be like, she left, I'm my, she my, left 10 <laughs> seconds on my microwave, nigga. I can't do it. Yeah, I'm not oh, kidding. Who do raised this. her? I'm, I'm gone. I can't yeah. do this. Nigga be looking for a reason to get out before it even starts. So as soon as he get her number, he be thinking, how can I get rid of this? I was just on the phone with a girl. She's like, damn, you so just mental. I'm like, I'm like, I am. Motherfucker, bro, I'm working on this shit. You know what I'm saying? But like, I was nope. serious. I wasn't even trying to be on that shit. I was just like, you feel me? Yeah. She like, man, you hella just mental. I'm like, damn, I guess. I be on shit. <laughs> Anything, Lou. Like, nope. Cause I'm women out. judge men, nah, so no, I keep okay. that same shit. I got my shit together, so I'm standing on shit. <laughs> <laughs> Which I be saying, where you live at? Who you live with? Yeah. How many kids <laughs> you got? <laughs> I be saying hella shit. I be asking hella shit. What you do for fun? You just fuck I don't around, think go to the club. With that. But that they, they be that. like, damn, you hella like. Yeah, like. I think that I'm know, asking nigga. shit Cause I'm ready yeah. You ask me the same shit I'm gonna answer this shit Hella fast I mean But that might be the ones That know they on some bullshit <laughs> You see what I'm so saying So I don't wanna answer the question If I'm a fellow You know what I'm saying If I got five kids Six baby daddies I might be like ah, I don't wanna tell this nigga Damn, it's how you how you got five so. kids and six of them niggas? Like, okay, <laughs> like, it's between the two. That might be <laughs> like that oh, might shit. be a situation nah. where you know, but those are normal questions. Get to know somebody, uh, yeah, right. it's right. normal. You know, right. it's just life. It's the Kelly kickback. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad y'all stay uh, tuned in watching this episode. I appreciate y'all for coming through. This was a uh, this was a uh, red table talk slash <laughs> real nigga talk. Yes, <laughs> Debbie. So y'all tuned in to another episode, and we. Tap back in with you. Keisha, Keisha E, feel free to pull back up on us. Don't let this nigga scare you off. <laughs> anytime. All Any right. man, listen, anytime. Uh, All right. It's anytime. the Kelly kickback. <laughs>